Today in this video, we'll see how we can create duplicate detection rule in Dynamics 365. So this duplicate detection rule is mainly used to stop or to prevent saving the duplicate records based on provided our particular fields for checking the duplicates. To give you an example, consider you have a bank account in SBI bank and your account number is 12345. Now if some another person is going to create a new account with the same account number as 12345 then it, it should not allow them to create the new <coughs> bank account with the same account number and it should show as a duplicate record found or some other errors. So if I have to give you an, uh, in the visual you can see here we have two cases. okay. The first one is duplicate records found but still you are able to save the record here you get you will get the option like ignore and save other one is merge but still you are able to create the with this uh, duplicate uh, duplicate records in case two you can see that we do not have the option to save or ignore or to merge there is no option at, at all so if uh, consider uh, passport number if two person are trying to give the same passport number then it will not allow them to create the another record okay so uh, here two things we need to understand whether you want to stop creating the record if duplicate record is found or you want to either ignore it or merge it ignore it and merge it okay it depends on your requirement so in dynamics 365 we have out of the box feature for this we can create duplicate detection rule and you can enable uh, we can give the fields for checking the duplications so without wasting the time let's come and first we'll check this one case 2 will not allow to create any duplicate records the second one we'll check with the whether uh, you can uh, just merge the record or ignore and say whatever you want okay in order to do, to do that uh, let's go with the uh, contact you can uh, apply this duplicate detection rule uh, anywhere in any custom fields so for that uh, here uh, let's first go to advanced setting okay here and uh, mm -hmm. under the setting you can see you'll be able to see the data management and the data management we have duplicate detection rule from here itself we will be creating new detection rule this is uh, this i'll be covering after five minutes before that i'll check the first one first one means for that it should not allow to save the record at all so let's come here let's go to your uh, table table it was contact the purpose of showing this first uh, because it may take some time to update the value here to update the uh, detection rule here it takes some two minutes five minutes depending upon, it, upon your region so first we'll create this one we'll wait for some time meanwhile we'll check the another duplicate detection rule so for that we can uh, do this either from the classic view or from the power app so i'm going to show, show you in the both no need to worry here if you open this table you will see the this keys okay click on the keys click on new key and uh, here you can give anything i'm going to give dynamics power and which field you want to check for duplication so come to alex baker and uh, okay let's give any let's give it an address one straight one you can give others as well this is just for example so i'm going to choose address one okay we do not have this one here or what okay we are not having so let's just check come here mm -hmm. on the first one what is it showing we have job title okay let's go with the job title itself job title save <clears throat> okay so now as soon as you create it you can see the status is pending okay so if you click on refresh you can click you can come here and click on uh, refresh to know whether it is in active state or not so it may take some two to four minutes see i have already created one and you can see once you refresh your request has been successfully received it will take few minutes for the job to be updated blah, 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 something like that so just wait for some time meanwhile we are going to create a new detect uh, duplicate detection rule so go to advanced setting under the data management here we have um, uh, data management and duplicate detection rule okay 
So here you can see we have already existing uh, rules like accounts with the same name, same email address. If I have to show you, see this one, I have not created any duplicate detection rule for first name and last name, but still it is showing me that duplicate records are found because Microsoft have already created uh, some duplicate detection rule for basic purpose. Now let's come and create a new detection rule and give address address okay. and uh, so here in the base record type you can select uh, any of your fields or your custom fields from here itself I'm going to choose contact we also have the option to either if you want to apply this detection rule on active records or inactive records so if you want to include inactive as well or if you want to exclude you can check uh, mark this checkbox now here comes the main part here you have to select based on what field you want to mark it as a duplicate so from here I'm going to select as address what was it address type one okay let me just check it once it was street one okay so it should be street one not this one okay here address one street one this one I'm going to select this one in the criteria I want exact match if both if two records are having exactly the same value then only it will be showing that duplicate record found save and close okay both the things are done let's come and refresh here mm, okay it has failed because of some reason not a problem meanwhile let's create another one test and uh, give it as what are the other fields we have we have zip uh, postal code should be okay let's give it for postal code okay th that field is also not here mm -mm -mm, birthday business phone okay let's give it for oh, oh, currency email we already have but still let's give it for email come here okay publish table try to publish the table as well and if we try to okay that duplication a rule we have already created right for the for what we have created here uh, address it should not have the address okay coming here Alex Baker here we have the address as this one control A control C let's create a new one <coughs> test one and give the address street one as this one so it should me so it should show me the duplicate detects okay see currently it is not showing it means that something is wrong with our duplicate detection rule here uh, where this one is our you can see that it is still unpublished so if it is unpublished means it is not in effect other one are in effect so come click on your duplicate detection rule and here we will be able to get an option publish so as soon as you publish it now it will be come to effect will come to effect and it, the button is disabled to publish now close come here try to create another give any details not a problem street one if I give the same address now at least it should give me a warning okay you can see it is giving me duplicate records found here and it is based on there are two duplicate detection rule uh, the two fields it's checking one is first name one is last name and address one this is our duplicate detection rule and these are already existing one so the first one this case case one is satisfied here you can either ignore and save or merge both things now the case two it should not allow me to create so for that come here refresh it okay now you can see this one we created recently right see a dynamics problem the one which we created earlier it, it got failed it got failed because of which reason let's check that one we have uh, SQL error occurred so it may be because of some internal reason uh, some syncing or something going on I don't know okay but this one is in active make sure that your the first uh, in the duplicate detection rule it should be published 
if it is unpublished then it's not going to work the second one is it should be active so it is for the email okay now come here let's give some email let's check what email Alex Baker is having okay this one copy it and uh, we are going to create the same record with, sorry we are going to create another record with the same email so dynamics email let's give it as an email and now if I give this email okay also we gave some street street address right and let's give it as Alex only Alex and Baker not a problem if I try to save and close see the first one duplicate detection rule is uh, coming to affect it is showing that these are the fields which are common okay now if I ignore and save now the second one is coming up okay a record has been found so anyhow it's not going to it will not allow you to create the record now if I try to change the value something okay now first name last name is not matching only email is matching so the duplicate detection rules should not be enabled but the other one will be enabled so save okay it is still checking email okay fine email we are having okay we are already having with the email that's why it is showing ignore and save okay cancel it now i'm going to change it and it should allow me to save it so this is how we can uh, prevent in we can first the there were two scenarios we created a duplicate detection rule to create the records by ignoring the duplicate records or merging the record the second one was we went to the keys of the field and we uh, selected our particular field to to detect the duplicates once if the field is matching then we are not saving the record so this is all about duplicate detection rule also see the some of the major thing is you need to keep in mind that once you create it you should not uh, expect that it should come into reflect as soon as possible it may take some two to five minutes or ten minutes depending upon your reason so it may take once it is active then it will work and uh, sometimes you may get the error like a sql server error or you may get this one uh, your request has been successfully received and you have to keep refreshing it until you see it is in active state then it should work so that's all about today's video if you have any doubts you put it down in the comment i'll try to get it back thank you